Next on News 4 Tucson at 10, smoke fills the skies of Tucson after a massive fire erupts at a local recycling plant. Plus, after a judge's ruling, masks are off at airports, train stations, and all government buildings. And later, missing signs in a Foothills community leads to misdemeanor charges against an HOA board member. News 4 Tucson Live at 10 starts right now. From KBON, investigating for you. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 10. Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. Amanda has the night off. Disappearing political signs lead to misdemeanor charges against a local attorney and homeowners association president. The News 4 Tucson investigators have been looking into this neighborhood drama for six months now. Of course, Nylander has more in tonight's News 4 Tucson investigation. Well, the neighborhood is home to the Catalina Foothills Estates number nine homeowners association. There's been a battle brewing between some of the homeowners and the HOA, which has reached a boiling point. This video might provide key support for pending misdemeanor charges against this neighborhood's HOA president. This neighborhood drama starts here with these signs put up by resident Jeffrey Landers in October last year, speaking out against an HOA proposition to raise resident dues from 100 to $300 per year that was ultimately approved by voters. This whole thing started with us realizing that the board was just continually overreaching with some different rules and things they wanted to pass. Jeffrey Landers and several of his neighbors tell us they have had a lot of contention with the HOA president and local attorney Sherry Duran. It's a very authoritarian board and you might say that she's the dictator. Jeffrey not only put up these signs around his home, but out on the corner along Skyline Boulevard, he invested in expensive signs with tracking devices, but started noticing his signs missing and unable to track them. I was getting a little irritated by them being stolen, so I set up a camera. This is video captured October 5th. You can see a woman walk down by the street, remove the sign, tear it up, and dispose of it out of frame. Jeffrey says that woman is clearly Sherry Duran. Then again, the following day, his cameras captured the same woman removing and tearing up another sign he put in the same place. The video outraged other homeowners in the neighborhood. I, I think those kind of actions is what leads to more problems rather than us kind of coming together and sort out what's best for all of us. If I am on the board and I disagree, I'm going to just take this and destroy it. Jeffrey called the Pima County Sheriff's Department and News for Tucson investigators. In October, we contacted Sherry Duran by phone. She denied any wrongdoing and said the signs were on HOA property. She sent us an email saying, quote, I recommend you use extreme caution if you decide to run this story and perpetuate these disgruntled owners' unfounded claims or statements that a board member is dishonest and has engaged in any criminal activity. Owners intentionally violating our CCRs and the Pima County sign standards should not be given a platform to continue to defame and harass board Board members. But the county attorney seems to disagree. Last month, Durand was charged with two misdemeanor counts of criminal damage for allegedly removing the signs following the Pima County Sheriff's Department investigation. We again made multiple attempts to reach Durand for comment. She did not respond. She's a lawyer. She's supposed to know better. I think the board and she owe the neighbors and myself an open apology. According to court records, Sherry Duran has an arraignment scheduled for April 29th at Pima County Justice Court. Investigating for you, Cor Snylander, News 4 Tucson.